One month highs, biggest day in more than two and a half years after adding more subscribers and also hiking subscription prices. So 8.8 .8 million new signups, and that's the best quarter for new customers in more than three years, and over 3 million more than Wall Street estimates. So that means over 247 million people around the world watch Netflix, and that number increased after the password crackdown, which has encouraged some, not all, people to buy their own accounts. Netflix also raising prices here in the U.S. and also in the U.K. for those ad-free tiers by maybe 2 to $3. And that's because they want to drive viewers to the basic plan with ads. Yes, it's cheaper, $6.99 a month, but, you know, Netflix makes more money from that tier because not only do they get the monthly fee, but they also make more advertising revenue from those commercials. And they're also spending $4 billion less this year on content because of the writers and the actors' strikes. Now, they did strike a deal for finally, with the writers last month. But you heard CEO Ted Sarando say that there's still a major sticking point with the actors. We were actually very optimistic that we were making progress. Uh, but then at the very end of our last session together, the Guild presented this new demand that kind of on top of everything uh, for a per subscriber levy unrelated to viewing or success. And this really broke our momentum, unfortunately. Now, they will get a deal soon. Also, what about live sports and speculation here? Listen to this uh, sound by quickly. I think about it as a great way of extending those great drama of sport brands that we've created, but no core change in our live sports strategy or licensing live sports. Yeah, so there's a lot of speculation about live sports since we know that Warner Brothers is getting into it. And The Crown, actually, is uh, the final season starts in the middle of next month.